Okay, that's pretty consistent. What's up, FE Clan? Today we're gonna be unboxing and testing out the new Yagi Blaster. Yagi, Yaji, Yoji, Yaji. Ya, this is a $39 blaster. I'll put the listing up right here. I bought it on Amazon, and a lot of you have been asking me for a blaster that's under $50 that is affordable and can shoot well or shoot you know whatever you've been asking me for an affordable blaster and here it is this is literally the most affordable blaster i could find um that looked okay but we don't know yet we have no idea what this blaster's capabilities are we're going to go ahead and unbox and test this blaster out right now and before before i open this box guys i want to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers everybody that's been subscribed from the very beginning and all of my new subscribers thank you so much we are almost at 15,000 subscribers as of right now when I'm filming this video. And I'm literally just so excited, super happy of the growth of the channel and all of you gel blaster supporters out there. So that's what's been carrying this channel so far right now is all these gel blaster videos. But I will be posting different content up and I encourage you to watch those videos as well. So if you are part of this channel, I hope that you will support me in any video that I put up click the like button and just watch the video all the way through it would help me out and i promise they will be entertaining so let's go ahead let's open this bad boy up all right feels like there's something else in there Shh. Hey, hey, hey. Shh. uh this is osiris i don't know if you can see him that's him right there that's that's osiris right there guys <laughs> so we're gonna open up this side of the box as well what do we have why is it stuck and what do we have? All right, guys. So, obviously, right off the bat, you can tell it's not the easiest unboxing. That is now empty. We have uh, instructions on how to make Orbeez. We all know how to do that. So, looks like we have some more tape on this box. We're going to worry about this little black box in a second. Put that right down there by my feet. Let's take a look at the blaster. The aesthetics, uh, it looks actually pretty cool. If you take a look at it there, guys. It looks futuristic, I would say. But this thing actually feels pretty stout. It almost feels like the splatter ball guns or some of the better made uh, gel blasters out there. It's just, it feels stout, it feels sturdy. Trigger pull feels pretty good. It's not too easy, not too hard. So let's open up. This black box right here, probably where they put all the Orbeez. Um, they probably put the battery inside of here and hopefully they put a pair of safety goggles in here. This is a container. You usually get some kind of container with a uh, Orbeez blaster to put your Orbeez in. So after you um, pour the little package in here, you put water and then the Orbeez are in a little container. You dump it in your blaster and you're good. So that's that. Just throw that right down there, put it aside. It looks like we have, I would believe there's about 2,000, maybe 3,000 Orbeez in there. So that's cool, you know. And it does come with a pair of safety goggles, 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 you know, the things that protect your eyeballs. Oh, look at that. There is a forward grip. Uh, let me get this blaster here off the ground. See how that works. Okay. Look at that, guys. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know why you need a forward grip on such a small gun. This is like a pistol. And you can actually see the forward grip doesn't sit on there too well. It's actually very loose. Kind of cheaply made forward grip. But the, the blaster feels all right. So let's hope that that is, um, that is strong and powerful. All right, let's see what we got here. What the heck is this? Wow, so this right here is actually the magazine or the hopper as I like to call it because it goes on the top of the blaster here. Coming from the paintball world, you know when the paintball when the paintballs go in from the top, you call that thing on top a hopper. So I've always called these hoppers, but this is a very unique looking hopper right here. It is very, very cool. And you can see it just slides right on the top there. There's a, a rail. And you just take the uh, grooves and slide it back in, boom. And then you got yourself a hopper. And then there's a little lid up here. Open that little lid up. Look at that. Very freaking cool. And you can close that lid. So after you put your Orbeez in there, you close that lid up and you are all ready to go blasting. 
but of course you cannot forget about the battery where is the battery on this thing i don't know actually i do i'm just kidding the uh battery is built in and right there you can see is a round charging port right there very very cool uh i like the blasters that have built-in batteries it just makes it a whole lot easier just to take the blaster and uh charge it but there is a downside to that when this runs out of battery that's it you need to plug it in and you're down a blaster the other blasters you could just buy extra batteries for and replace the battery so you can always be using your blaster at any point in time uh, with the charged batteries so there is your off and on button right there on the back you just click it click it on click it off let's see oh it, it is it does come somewhat charged, but I like to charge these up all the way, but it doesn't really sound that powerful, but like I said, it might not be charged up all the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing charged up all the way and we're going to go give it a test fire. We're going to see how painful it is. We're going to see how far it fires, how fast it fires, all that good stuff. Here we are about three hours later, we've got the gel blaster fully charged up and we've got our Orbeez all soaked up in their water they look like they are fully grown you know my baby's all grown up <laughs> so the only thing we have to do now is test this bad boy out let's see if this yagi gel blaster can actually hold up to the other gel blasters that we've shown on this channel i'm gonna go ahead and load the chamber up here oh oh looks like more water's going in than uh than i want but okay all right all right that looks like enough go ahead and close the chamber there that little slide that i showed you earlier just close that up as you can see no orbies falling out let's do a pain test an accuracy test and a distance test on this thing right now okay that's pretty consistent it looks like it's you know, it looks like it's shooting maybe like 50, 60 feet consistently. Let's see how painful it is. Okay, so as usual, I have my son here, Osiris. He's going to be shooting me from, I don't know, maybe 15 feet away. Let's see if this thing hurts. You go up there and stand by the camera. So he's about 15 feet away. We're going to see how painful this thing is compared to some of my other blasters. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could definitely stand here and withstand it. All right, all right, that's enough. Um, 15, you know, 15 feet away, it's gonna sting a little bit. 30 feet away, you're probably gonna barely feel this thing. Uh, 40 feet away, uh, you'll still feel it, but like I said, you'll just know that something hit you. It's like a very, very light sting from 15 away. So yeah, the pain level, not too bad on this thing. This is definitely safe for, it says 14 years and older, but I would say, you know, from nine years old and up, you can easily have a little battle outside. And, uh, and as long as you're wearing your safety glasses, everything should be fine. Okay, so we've seen how fast this thing can fire. We see how far it fires, maybe about 40 to 50 feet maximum. Uh, and that's when it starts to drop off and hit the ground at 50 feet. And then you've seen, uh, you know, the pain test right there from 15 feet away. It just has a little bit of sting to it. And yeah, as far as accuracy, you can see that he was hitting my stomach from 15 feet away. So as long as you're within 15 to 20 feet, you can probably be pretty accurate with this thing. It doesn't seem to veer off from the, from the left to the right. And I think that has a, a, a lot to do with it's not that powerful. The more powerful the blaster, the more I see the Orby start to veer off to the left and the right and up and down. And, and you get to see a little bit less accurate in these gel blasters so yeah that's it for the yagi gel blaster review and test fire let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about this gel blaster let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other gel blasters you want me to buy and review and test fire i will do that make sure to subscribe down below watch this video and this video we will see you next time Shoo.